Today I'm going to show you how to make a perfectly round sphere in Blender. So if you haven't done so already, good. File, New, in general. I'm using version 2.81 alpha. Um, so the instructions in this tutorial will be mostly the same for previous Blender versions. Okay, so first of all we have a default cube pair. What we're going to do is we're going to add a subsurf modifier. Just click here. And we're going to give it a few subdivisions, so four subdivisions. We're going to apply those subdivisions, we're going to go tab to enter edit mode. We're going to press uh, A to select all the, all the vertices. And then we're going to go, we're going to press rather Shift Alt X. And then as you can see, we move it from your cursor horizontally and moves from zero to one. Just press one and then press enter. And there you go, you have a perfectly round sphere and most importantly, it has a perfect, nice topology. So you can use it for mapping a texture to and it'll look correct. So the poles won't be distorted as opposed to a UV sphere. Say if I had add a UV sphere just here, you notice at the very top that all the vertices converge into at the poles on a central point. And this causes um, dis distortion artifacts when you apply smoothing. Um, the UV sphere, you can turn up the resolution as an in increase the number of segments of rings and it will solve the problem, but rarely this method gives you a much cleaner result with much less vertices. So now we've got a perfectly round sphere. All we do is just go click Shade Smooth. And as you can see upon inspection, when you look at the reflected light, it looks perfectly smooth. 